We have very little data right now um, to answer the question of whether we should be using a GLP-1 or GIP agonist uh, and incretin mimetic uh, during or even after cancer therapy. I will say that uh, metabolic disorders like diabetes and cardiovascular disease are major problems for breast cancer survivors and breast cancer treatments can exacerbate metabolic disorders. We know that breast cancer survivors have more than a doubling in their risk of developing diabetes. Uh, and the number one cause of death of, of women in the US and essentially worldwide uh, is cardiovascular disease. And patients that are diagnosed with breast cancer are at an elevated risk for cardiovascular disease. So I do currently recommend the use of, of weight loss drugs if a patient meets the current indication uh, once they're in the survivorship setting. And it, we've seen some data that perhaps the hormone therapies, if they're still on it, uh, can reduce the uh, amount of weight loss from these drugs, so more data are needed. I'm not currently recommending using these, the weight loss drugs or, or starting them uh, when a person has just been diagnosed with breast cancer or during chemotherapy, partly because we don't have any safety data yet for those combinations. Uh, I suspect that the toxicity might compound, like nausea, for example. Uh, the weight loss drugs, they uh, slow gastric emptying, and we don't know what that effect will be on oral chemotherapies or even oral hormone therapies, for, for example. Um, and we did see a small study reported here at San Antonio in 25 patients uh, where the authors reported that in early stage triple negative breast cancer treated with chemoimmunotherapy, the PCR rates were lower in patients who received the weight loss drugs. But I caution uh, folks on their interpretation of this data because these patients had very advanced diabetes. They were on three, four, or more drugs uh, for diabetes. Uh, and the GLP agonists were added oftentimes as a fourth or fifth drug uh, for diabetic control. My interpretation of that data is not that it answers the question of whether we should be using these drugs or, uh, during cancer therapy, but rather patients who have aggressive diabetes that require multiple, multiple drugs for control and still don't have adequate control are at, unfortunately, an increased risk for, for inadequate treatment response uh, to breast cancer therapy. There are still a lot of unanswered questions right now, but I do uh, think that the weight loss drugs are likely to play an important role, at least in the survivorship setting.